you know it's gonna be a good day when you get a Sephora package. I am gonna do an unbox. Oh, wait, hold on, let me get scissors. I'm gonna do a little unboxing because I'm super excited to try this product out. I saw, well, I've seen this product like everywhere, but I first saw it in um, Mains by Mel YouTube channel, her new video that she made with her sister. And I had to order it because, wait, hold on, which lighting's better, with the ring light or without? Okay, so apparently it's a cream that also leaves a little bit of a cast in your hair, and I love hold in my hair, so, but I also love using creams, but I'm never able to use them because they don't have enough hold for my hair type, and I kind of have a looser curl, so I kind of need that. Um, I kind of need that hold, so I was super excited to hear that this product had a cast in it, so I got the Verb Curl Cream. I was gonna get the entire line, but they had like a bundle on the Verb website. They wanted to try the shampoo and conditioner and mostly the leave-in and the curl cream, but it was sold out on the Verb website and on Sephora they don't have all four products. So I was only able to get this one and the leave-in sold out. And I didn't get the shampoo and conditioner because I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you feel like shampoo and conditioner actually makes a huge difference in your routine or do you think it's mostly your styling products? I think it's mostly my styling products, but I know a lot of people believe that um, shampoo and conditioner actually makes a big difference. But anyway, so I got the curl cream. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna try it by itself or with possibly a leave-in in it. Really, really wanna see what it smells like because apparently it smells really good, but it also has a super light scent. Oh, it smells really good. It smells super fresh. It smells super fresh, like like you just got out of the shower. And like, you know when you go out of the shower and then you can kind of smell your shampoo in the bathroom, like after you shower? I feel like that's what it smells like. It smells really good. I'm very excited to try this. It says Shape, Definition, Defrizz, Repair, Curl Cream. Verb Curl Cream provides memory and light hold to all types of textured hair, keeping curls shapely and buoyant. This lightweight formula activates curls and controls frizz all day touchably soft hair. So the reason also, another reason why I was so excited to try this is because I've heard that their products are super lightweight and because my hair is pretty fine, it gets weighed down really easily. So that's why I was excited to try this also. And I usually like products with protein in it, but I don't see, I don't know, I don't, maybe the leave-in has some protein in it, but I don't see any like, maybe I just don't know what protein looks like in ingredients, but I don't see like the usual, the keratin or like the soy protein or whatever, so. I don't know, but we'll see. I'm really excited to do use this. And it's only, I mean, it's not like drugstore pricing and it's not super expensive. It's only $16. All their products are only $16. So I'm really excited to try this. Okay, I'm gonna go shower and then I'm gonna come back with wet hair and I'll take you through the entire diffusing process and everything, so. I'm out of the shower. My hair is like soaking wet. Okay, I'm gonna brush it. I don't have anything in my hair right now. I thought about it and I think I'm just gonna try the cream by itself because, oh, because ideally, if I were able to use it by itself and use only one product, that would be amazing, so I'm just gonna try it out that way. So I got my hair done this past weekend on Saturday with Donatella from Curls One on One. I just got a little haircut, a trim, and basically she taught me, um, because I, I'll usually always brush my hair all the way forward and style my hair upside down, but then I get this really flat on the back, so she basically told me that um, you should put all your hair forward, 
but and then put it in but you also should do it from like the side and this side so basically do it from all angles because you know how like when they blow dry your hair straight they blow dry it from all angles so it's the same thing with curls except you're going to style your hair from all different angles so i'm going to try and do that my hair never comes out as good as she does it so i always have still a little bit of frizz but when she does my hair i never have any frizz so i don't know i'm going to try it out i think your hair has to be pretty soaking wet so i'll probably end up adding some more water to it but okay time to try this out let's see what the consistency is like before i go all the way down there basically it's literally it's like can you see that it's pretty creamy it's not um heavy at all so that's good oh it smells really good okay i'm going in guys add some more water i think i'm just gonna brush it like this just so the tangles are out before i start styling and then i'm gonna try and do the technique that she did so that you can all see what I'm talking about because I'm sure nobody knows what the hell I'm saying because it doesn't make any sense but it will make sense when I show you. I think I'm going to take that much. Basically just raking it through and like forming clumps. So if your hair starts to separate too much, make sure you add more water. So you see how they're kind of clumping nicely on this side. Not much more. I'm actually going to use my Denman brush and brush it out like this. Just for some extra definition, and I think it'll grab an extra product. So, like this much more. Also, when you rub it in between your hands, it really emulsifies and um, becomes a lot more so. I feel like there's a lot of cream in my hair, you guys. Okay. I'm gonna try and scrunch all of the excess out. Very worried and put too much product, but I guess we'll find out. I'm probably gonna air dry for like 50% of the way, maybe 75% of the way if I can wait that long. I have a feeling it's gonna take a while to dry because there's a lot of cream in my hair. Yeah, I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna air dry for as long as I can and then I'm gonna diffuse and I will come back on here and show you what it looks like. This is my hair air dried for a little bit. Uh, it's still pretty wet so I'm gonna have to diffuse it, which is normal. So let's just get like a good shot of the back. It's not really as frizzy as I thought it was gonna be. So that's a good sign. What do you all think so far? I'm going to diffuse it now. So it looks promising, so hopefully it stays this way. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna diffuse it on medium speed and it's not gonna be hot it's not gonna be the hottest because this gets super hot but it's gonna be on warm because diffusing already takes 1500 years and if i did it on cool it would take another 1500 years so i'm not about that life
My hair is still a little bit wet, and honestly, I'm a little afraid to flip it over because I don't want to be disappointed because honestly, from this angle, it looks pretty good. Obviously, I can't stay like this, so... Okay, I'm gonna flip over. I'm scared. Oh my god, you guys. I actually think my hair looks really good. What do you guys think? I don't love the way it's parting right here. Like, look at what happens when I just leave my hair. It just looks like really weird here. But, for the sake of this video, um, I'm not going to shake my hair out because I need it to look good for tomorrow. Because I'm going to sleep. So I think I'm just gonna leave my hair like this. I actually really, really like it, honestly. Creams never really work on my hair, so that's why I'm very, very happy with this one. I think as the days go on, I'll definitely get a lot more volume also, so I'm really excited to see that. But as far as definition and frizz-wise, I really, I feel like I don't have any frizz, and if I do, it's very minimal. If you have a similar hair texture to me and you are looking to try this out, then I definitely recommend it. I think by itself, this is my favorite. It's too early to say, but if, this, if my results stay like this throughout the week or throughout the days before I wash it, then I think this is honestly gonna be one of my favorite, or no, this is honestly gonna be my favorite curl cream because I can use it by itself. And oh, also as far as the cast goes, I don't really feel a cast, but I can definitely tell that this cream does have hold, especially compared to other creams. And I used a lot of it too, and I don't think my hair looks weighed down. I actually think that it looks pretty good. And I have a finer hair texture, so if you do have a fine hair texture and you've always wanted to try a cream out but it's never worked out, then I definitely, definitely recommend picking this one up and trying it out. If you tried the leave-in, let me know if it's worth buying and let me know if you've tried the shampoo and conditioner and if that's worth buying also, then comment that down below as well. I'll post my update for tomorrow for day two on Instagram. It'll definitely be in my highlights, so make sure to check like my product review highlights. Yeah, okay, that's it for this video, everybody. Thanks for watching.